We've all seen standing water in our yards or in fields after a big rainstorm, but have you ever wondered why the water remains even after the rain has stopped? The answer is infiltration. Simply put, infiltration is the process of water entering the ground from the soil surface. Soils are not consolidated masses and contain areas unoccupied by solids that can be filled with air or water. These unoccupied spaces, called pores, allow water to move into a soil from the ground surface and continue down through the rest of the soil profile. As the water infiltrates into the soil and begins to fill the pores, the soil is unsaturated. But once the pores are completely filled, the soil is saturated. Pretty simple, right? But why does water accumulate in some areas and not others, even when those areas don't seem all that different? Infiltration depends on a variety of factors, and the combination of those factors determine the rate and amount of infiltration in a given area. For instance, a soil with more pore space will have much greater infiltration than a soil with significantly fewer pores, as there is more space for the water to occupy. The rainfall intensity and accumulation also influence infiltration, as higher intensity and greater accumulation increase infiltration due to the increase in both water availability and the downward pressure exerted on water by gravity. Likewise, the pre-existing soil moisture content impacts infiltration, as I will be demonstrating today. As you can see, this demonstration uses two columns filled with equal amounts of the same soil, but with varying moisture content. The soil on the left has been moistened with a bit of water, while the soil on the right has been air dried for three days. To begin, each tube receives approximately the same amount of water to represent a uniform rainfall event. While the column on the left was the first to have water flow through, in a more accurate system, the column on the right would have been the first column to have water come through, as it contained a drier soil which has a greater ability to exert a pull on water. As the demonstration continues, you can see that the dry soil has allowed much more water to pass through, indicating that it has a higher infiltration capacity than the moist soil. After five minutes, the dry soil has allowed more than twice as much water to infiltrate compared to the moist soil. Although you might not know the initial soil moisture of a soil the next time you see a puddle in your yard or a field, you will know that soil moisture played a role in determining the infiltration in that spot.